I got this email from Best Buy titled, Got an Appetite for Fright? Feast on the Fear Inspired by These Tech Tricks. Takes you to the Best Buy website, 5 Halloween Prank How-Tos. High-tech pranks you can do for a high-scare Halloween. I'm using a MacBook Pro Retina I got on sale and a Call of Duty headset for $20, regular $80 from Best Buy. And I'm an Elite Rewards member. So this is an unpaid video, but I don't mind giving them a shout out. Even if you don't buy these from Best Buy, you can still turn these into interesting yard haunt or haunted house ideas. So let's play a little bit of the clips. We're going to use this tech to transform an ordinary picture frame into a terrifying mirror. Start with a picture frame that's a little larger than your TV. Carefully remove the glass and apply mirror film. When you're done, you'll have a two-way mirror. Next, put up a black backdrop and record yourself popping into frame. Then use video editing software to grab the clip and add effects. How you hang it will vary. Just make sure it's secure so it doesn't fall or damage your big screen. Now you're ready. Oh! <laughs> Did not see that coming. Which is weird because I explained half the prank. That is weird. Boo! So there's a description in the caption. Preserved head. You can read a description here real quick. And let's play it. This is a preserved head. Here's how you make it. First, take a photo of the front and sides of someone's face. Make a dead creepy face. Ah. Uh. Then pull the photos into photo editing software, merge and blend them together to create one image, add filters, zombie it up, whatever you want. Next, print it out. Use larger paper for life-size heads. Or smaller paper for shrunken ones. Then get it laminated. Put the photo in the jar, put the jar into hiding, and when some unsuspecting soul goes to look in the cupboard... Trapped in a jar! The muffled cries for help you hear are coming from a wireless Bluetooth speaker. That you control with your phone or tablet, if you have one. It heightens the fright. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> that Bluetooth speaker was an interesting idea, even for a yard haunt. I use an iPod shuffle and portable speakers that are made for it in my yard haunt. So I guess these are what they are. Okay, Wicked Washroom. Here's an overview of what you're going to see. The bathroom. It's generally considered a safe place, which makes it the perfect candidate for a little Halloween hijinks. Here's what you'll need. Some typical bathroom devices, a JBL pulse speaker, Hue lighting, a smartphone, and the real star of this prank, Belkin Wemo switches. They let you control electronics from anywhere. After you download and install the Wemo app, plug the Wemo switches into the outlets, then plug the appliances into the switches. This will allow you to turn them on and off with your phone. We also added a Wemo wall switch to control the lights. The JBL pulse speaker, which has lights that pulse to the music, will provide our sound effects. And some hue lighting will provide the scary light. May I? Of course. And then when they least expect it... Good acting. Thanks. I minored in theater. So that was pretty interesting. That's some yard haunt possibilities there. Smart switches. Wemo is $49.99. They price match though. So at least you have an idea. By the way, you can scrub through the video and it has a time code. So I'm going to jump to the pulse speakers, which are pretty cool. That worked good in a yard haunt, even though it's kind of DJ. This is Skitter and Scare. This is the description. And this is primarily what it uses. Robots. 
Toy Smartphones Wireless Speakers. Let's see what it says. Even if you don't live with a poltergeist, you can make your house look possessed. All you need is this. And this. Sphero and Sphero Ollie are app controlled toys. There's nothing scary about Sphero. But if you cover it up with something light, you can give your friends a little fright. But if you think they deserve a bigger scare, try this. Start with a creepy mannequin. Stick Ollie inside its creepy head and put it on its creepy body. Next, hide a wireless Bluetooth speaker behind the mannequin. Record some screams or moans and cue them up. Then, it's scare time. <laughs> <laughs> A new level of creepy creepiness achieved. So that's pretty cool. Let's see where that's at. Sphero, 130 bucks, but it gets good ratings. It has an LED glow to it. Kind of like the BB-8 droid in the new Star Wars movie. I have a video link below of an alarm clock that's really cool. And Snap of Fright, you better know the person pretty well to get away with this one. Showing them how ridiculous they look at the moment you terrify them. There are a million different ways to scare people. Clowns. But this video isn't about that. Okay. It's about an easy way to capture and share that scare. Here's what you'll need. Security cameras, a photo printer, and a laptop. First, set up your camera. We're using Arlo. It's wire-free, so you can place it pretty much anywhere. It also has a motion sensor, so you'll be recording when it happens. Now that you have video, which you can also share, scrub through it and find the most terrified moment and take a screenshot. Then, just print it out and give it to your victim. It's a scare-it-yourself photo booth. I look ridiculous. Yes, you do. Where's that creepy clown? They got some geek chic going on with the actress. She's Geek Squad, and her costume is real simple. It's a little badge. He's dressed up as a Best Buy employee. So in typical do-it-yourself yard haunt fashion, you could take any of these ideas and modify them or customize them to your liking. Those are some interesting ideas. I like it. So I felt that was worth sharing. I'm Yard Haunt 2000. If you find my video efforts helpful, please share, link to the video, or give a shout out. Check out my other videos and playlists on all my channels, and please subscribe for more.